Oh my god! Hey guys, it's Brittany and I have a new backdrop. Let me know what you think. I like it. I like the red. I like the candles. I just wanted something new. So I am super excited for today's video because I'm giving you an update on Emerald here, my haunted doll. And it's really cool because a thunderstorm just started. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's amazing. It sounds like a horror movie thunderstorm. You know when there's a thunderstorm and there's a horror movie thunderstorm, it sounds just like a horror movie thunderstorm. <laughs> So I'm really excited about that, but today is my first video into my investigation with Emerald. Now, before we get into the pendulum, because I've never used a pendulum before on my channel, I've actually never used one ever. Before we get into this though, I wanted to tell you guys, you guys hear that thunder? <laughs> I love it. So I wanted to tell you guys about the experiences that I've had. I have not done a spirit box session yet. I want to film that on camera. I'm kind of taking it slow with this one. I'm starting with the pendulum, but when I first opened up Emerald, of course I felt like I was being watched. You know what I mean? Because there's a spirit attached to her as, you know, the person that sold it to me said. <laughs> and this person has amazing reviews and everything, so I trust her. Now what a lot of people were saying in my unboxing video was that Emerald was smiling at me or she looked just so happy to have me as her new owner. And I saw that too, I even said it on camera, like did she just smile at me, you know what I mean? And I've kind of caught glimpses of that. Um, I haven't put her in a permanent spot yet, but you know, when I'm walking by, I always say hi Emerald or bye Emerald if I'm leaving or something. Like, that's what I do. I am super nice to her. I just, I feel like I adopted a child, <laughs> you know? So I take care of her and stuff. But yeah, there's no negativity that I felt whatsoever. As soon as I took her out of the box, I didn't feel anything like that. I just feel positive and happy. But I feel like I'm always being watched. Now, I would say the second night or the third night, I had her in the separate room and then I moved her in to my room beside my bed. Like she was literally on the table beside my bed <laughs> and I went to sleep. I almost experienced sleep paralysis around 3 a.m. Was it something to do with Emerald? I don't know. I didn't actually go full on into sleep paralysis, but you know the beginning stages when you just kind of know like, oh crap. <laughs> almost said another word, this is about to happen. So it was around 3 a.m. and I woke up, my eyes just, you know what I mean, and I was completely paralyzed. And I know I've said this on my channel before, when I wake up, I'm just paralyzed and it takes me a few minutes to realize things. And I know that sounds kind of alarming, but this has been going on for years for me. But this was different because when I woke up, my back was facing Emerald. And I remember, I just, I couldn't move and my heart was racing and I just felt like in my head I was saying, oh my God, I am about to experience sleep paralysis. And I just, it's almost like I caught myself, I grabbed myself, I took myself out of sleep paralysis mode. If you know what I mean? I was just so, I was about to go in, like literally about to go in. And I remember as I was about to go in, I was thinking, oh my God, does this have to do with Emerald? Like is, is somehow she doing this to me? You know what I mean? Anyways, I did not experience the paralysis. That feeling lasted, which felt like forever, but maybe a couple minutes, and then I kind of snapped out of it, and I went back to sleep. And how I knew it was 3 a.m. was after I kind of went through that feeling and stuff, I remember I looked at my phone, and it was like, I don't know, 2.57 or something like that. So it was around 3 a.m., and I just thought that was really weird. Um, I've heard footsteps when I'm down here. It sounds like somebody's walking. Now that could just be the house making noises, you know what I mean? I'm always trying to find an explanation, you know, a logical explanation. So I don't know, but that's pretty much what's been happening. I have not done a proper investigation on her. We are starting today with a pendulum. Now I just got this one. I am getting another one that's coming in on a Friday. And I've, I've never used a pendulum before. I've never used one. I've heard, you know, a lot of good things. A lot of people go crazy over these things. So basically, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what a pendulum is. You know, you can even make your own. I ordered this online. I wanted a crystal. You know, a lot of people have the ones, you know, with a crystal at the bottom of it. And you could just make one with, 
you know, a necklace, some kind of chain, and you need to have a weight at the bottom so, you know, it can move. So it can be a crystal, kind of whatever you want, really, just, you know, so it moves and stuff. I'm very skeptical with the pendulum. You know, who the heck are you talking to? Who is moving it? Are you talking to a ghost, a spirit? Are they moving it? Possibly. Um, a lot of people think it's your spirit guide that, you know, you're communicating with, and a lot of people think that it's just your subconscious. So, oh my god, that thunder though. So I have already, you know, I've done my research on this. I've actually already been playing around with it. So before you use it, you say, show me yes, and it shows you Apparently it shows you yes. So for me the yes is a little kind of circle like that and then I say Show me no and the no kind of just Holds still it doesn't really move it kind of almost bounces in a way just hold still Oh my god <laughs> Is this a sign? I hope this is the paranormal that's happening outside Is it just my mind like my subconscious just giving me the answers? You know, I kind of know what the answers are, you know what I mean? And then it's is that what it is which you know who knows but some people are like you can't communicate with spirits that way first of all how do you know how to communicate with spirits nobody does everything that ghost hunters do is theories it's not proven yes there's amazing evidence based off of it like spirit boxes you guys know i've got um, i've got an amazing evidence you know my haunted mansion series with jesse and mandy my name came through the spirit box amazing um other spirit box sessions i've done Amazing, the knocking, amazing. You know, so people who tell you that this is not a way to communicate with spirits or, you know what I mean? Nobody knows. Who makes up the rules? Nobody knows. You will never know until you die. That is what I go by. So I just thought this was a good way to, let's try this out. Um, I am skeptical though, but I think it will be very interesting. So I think maybe I should zoom in a bit so you guys can get a closer look. I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> And also too, actually, I'm gonna grab a pillow to rest. I've noticed that because I'm actually very shaky with my hands. You know what I mean? So I want you guys to know that. I can be very shaky and that could potentially make it move. So let's just see. I'm gonna get a pillow to rest my elbow on. So I have my pillow. This will make it so much easier for me. See, I'm already kind of shaking a bit. Okay, let's just relax my hand. It is recording, right? Okay. So, show me yes. See how it's moving in that little circle? I might even zoom in a bit more. Can you even see? Yeah. Show me no. And see how it's not moving at all? Could that just be, you know, <laughs> am I moving it without knowing? Obviously right now I am moving it, who knows? Okay, is Emerald the doll haunted? Yes. Is Emerald a good spirit? Is Emerald a bad spirit? No. Does the spirit of Emerald like being on camera? Yes. Are you excited about being in my videos? Okay, <laughs> I just saw this for a second. Is this, okay, Emerald, if you are here, Emerald, which I believe you are, <laughs> do you have something to do with the thunderstorm? I mean, I should be asking the pendulum this, but like this thunderstorm is just getting crazier and crazier with the questions. So I just want you to know, I mean, I'm so excited to have you on my channel. Oh my god. I am so excited to have you on my channel. Here, I'll have the, her face me. I want you to know that my viewers in the comment section love you. They think you are so pretty, which you are, and they just, you know, they love you. And I'm so excited. Everyone thinks that we're just like a perfect match, and I'm living. And I want you to feel comfortable in my videos. Um, I'm super excited to have you a part of my series next week. Does the thunderstorm outside have anything to do with Emerald? No. According to this, it says no. What the heck was that? Does the spirit of Emerald?
world like me? Yes. Do you want me to communicate with you through my spirit box? Yes. Are you the spirit of a teenager? It's like yes and then no. Are you the spirit of a child? That seems like no. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. I am going to end it on that. I'm just going to zoom out. The thunderstorm is still going. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So that was my very first pendulum session on camera. Obviously, you know, I'll be doing this more and I think the more I do it, the better I'll get. It's very nerve wracking because you're trying to ask the question, you, you're trying not to breathe so it won't move by yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't even know. Let me know what you guys think about the pendulum. I think it's very interesting. I'm happy that I tried it on my channel, especially with my first ever haunted doll. You guys will be seeing more of an investigation with her, of course, with the spirit box. But I got some interesting answers, if those really were answers, I mean, I can't prove it. People go crazy over these pendulums, like people love them. And I've actually become addicted to it too, because I've been, as soon as I got it, I could not wait to just ask it questions and stuff. And I've been really trying to figure out how to position my hand and stuff so I don't move and you know what I mean? Oh my God! the power is blinking so this has definitely been an amazing I mean you know atmosphere to be in a thunderstorm while I'm filming a video so this investigation with Emerald is gonna be an ongoing thing I will give you guys updates and stuff and she's gonna be a part of my series that I'm filming next week I will also have the pendulum with me of course also to guys please follow me on Instagram at birdie 44 I uploaded my very first IGTV video it's all about how i get this blinding highlight which is like one of the number one comments i get asked or get that you guys say in the comment section is how do you get your highlight so blinding so crazy so i made a video on igtv showing you exactly what i do to get this highlight so definitely follow me on instagram at 3044 because i'm going to be uploading a lot of videos to igtv it's really fun i'm going to be treating it almost like my second youtube channel the youtube channel so I'm excited about that. And if you want me to do any more specific videos on IGTV, then let me know and I will definitely do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics, Michael Jackson, hashtag team, birdie44, hashtag Friends. hey. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.